Hi, I'm Dr. Julie Pham, here to help you practice curiosity to elevate your work and life. We often try to get business and leadership advice from CEOs at big companies. The more revenue, the more employees, the more credible they seem. Yet there's so much wisdom that we can glean from family-owned businesses. Because many of them have been around for decades, they have high employee retention rate, and loyal customer bases. I am going to share with you four leadership lessons I got from running my family's Vietnamese language newspaper that I still apply to my own company, Curiosity Based Today. Regardless of what kind of organization you work at, you can apply these principles to building strong company cultures. So here are the four lessons. Number one, prioritize the collective over the individual. You've probably heard about all these CEOs who are having layoffs before they're willing to cut their own salary. In family-owned businesses, the owners often will make sacrifices to prioritize the whole. I watched my parents cut their own salaries or just withhold paying themselves so that they can make payroll during tough economic downturns. Ask yourself if you are willing to make those kinds of sacrifices to prioritize the collective or how you'd feel about working in an organization that you know others are making sacrifices to prioritize the collective. Number two, do work you love. Many founders of family owned businesses start because they want to do something that they love. And so there's not this strict boundary between work and life. There's not this, oh, we need to have work-life balance because they're actually the same. I often would talk with my parents about the work of serving our Vietnamese community over meal times. So ask yourself, are you doing work that you love so that it doesn't really feel like work? Number three, giving and expecting loyalty. Loyalty is support and strong allegiance to one another. And in a company, it can create a deep sense of trust and stability and safety for employees, knowing that we will support each other through the tough times. Now, I'm not saying that you should treat the workforce like your family and that performance isn't important. It just means when you see someone isn't performing that well, that you will support them to help them perform better. So ask yourself, do you care about giving and getting loyalty at work? Four, do work you're proud of. So much of our work is tied up into our identity. And I know with a lot of family owned businesses, they are so proud of the work that we do. So we talk about it. I think it's a bad sign when people aren't willing to talk about their work with those outside of work or outside of their field. Ask yourself, are you doing work that you're proud of? So all of these principles help create a kind of resilient and adaptive leadership that's evident in small family owned businesses. I hope you consider them and see if they can help you create a strong company culture. Keep in mind though, this isn't a prescriptive must do list. Ultimately, I just hope that you consider getting business and leadership advice on how to improve employee morale and job satisfaction from small family owned businesses. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do click like and share it. You can also read a more detailed version on our blog at curiositybased.com.